it's my muscle food. Almonds, beetroot and kale. It's my favourite breakfast at the moment. And these are going to be my meals for today. I've got chicken, veggies and rice and avocado. Chicken, rice and green beans. And then I've also got some oats with courgette. Some raspberries and I've also got some whey. Always time for coffee from my favourite new little deli in Green Gates. So I've now got clients which I'm going to go and train and then meet my friend Lena. So it is half twelve I think it is. I've just finished with my clients. I've also just done my morning cardio. Hence the sweaty mess, literally. This is my outfit of the day. So I have the my protein like backless vest on with these really cute leggings. And some matching Adidas trainers. I'm so pale right now. I'm going to LA in two weeks. I'm going to hit the sunbeds. I know they're bad for you, but I need a tan. So this is my current situation. Eating this, it's chicken, avocado, and some veg and rice, and doing, catching up some emails. Yes, that's me and John Paul. Hi there. Hi. Hi there. How you? Just in Costa with my friend Jenna, she's just on the phone. Jay Cosmetics, I will put the link in her Instagram. She does all things beauty. And I've also got a iced green tea, just drinking this, and then we are going to go train. I think we're going to do shoulders, chest, triceps today. So I'll take you guys with me.
promised myself that I was gonna keep trying to do more abs because I rarely train them just because of the fact that I don't really enjoy doing it and obviously when you're not really lean you can never really see them so I guess for a lot of people that's why you kind of put it to the back of your training because they're not ever really on display or they're not really visible but do remember that a strong core will help with all of your other exercises and your compound movements the stronger your core the stronger you're going to feel the stronger it'll support you and stabilize you when you're doing things like squats deadlifts military pressing anything like that so training it is just as important as any other muscle group and like i said i've been trying to incorporate more ab work so just a little tip for you guys i get asked so many times about how to get abs like the amount of times girls want to join want my plans and one of their goals is to have a six pack now i cannot explain to you how hard it is to get that six pack unless you are genetically gifted with a nice rock hard stomach or you are incredibly lean and i'm talking like competition lean chances are you are not going to be walking around with a rock hard stomach with abs popping and for women like i've talked about in my recent blog post on female training and nutrition we hold most of our fat around our stomach for childbearing and reproductive protect the organs and protect the baby we also have estrogen which i've talked about which makes us carry water and holds fat in our lower areas on our hips stomach and thighs unless you're walking around at 10 percent body fat you're not going to be having a nice rock hard lean stomach and just remember like there is more to life than a set of abs it's just abs and like i told one of my clients the other day how many times do you see girls walking around in crop tops in england not that often and if they do like i said it's because they've got lovely little stomachs and they're just genetically gifted with those stomachs so girls think bigger goals than just a set of abs think strong powerful wanting to lift heavier or you wanting to try a new class anything like that set yourself some healthy realistic strength powerful goals rather than set of abs. Gemma's just left. I'm back in the staff room eating my post-workout. Can you see it is 50 gram of gluten-free my protein oats with some grated courgette and Rocky Road away isolate and some raspberries. Rocky Road close second it tastes good i'll put the the link in is in the description box for all my protein so go and check them out so yeah i'm gonna eat that and get on with some work for my evening clients just checking in with clients seeing how they're getting on lots of positive emails coming through lots of emails from the lbd guide which is also exciting so i know you all probably really don't care but i'm just talking on live chat to misguided because i put in that big order which you might have seen on my snapchat i sent clothes back to be exchanged and stupidly i put in a dress that i actually wanted to keep in the wrong packet so i put them in like black leggings anyway i wanted that dress to come back with the new exchange things and it didn't come back so i'm just trying to speak to people online which look it's really cool you can speak like online chat to misguided so oh look she's sending it out as well yay this one is really cute but this in la will be a dream seriously shout out to misguided for their online chatting service so next job is to be putting my protein order in checking out the deals let me know if any of you guys have tried this new women's range and how you getting on so just putting my order in Jerky holiday, digesty max, I'm gonna give them a try. Some sachets for holiday, box of protein brownies, shaker, hoodie, sleeveless hoodie, more cookies, shorts, chocolate, click buttons, they're my favorite. And check that flavor, apple and cinnamon, yum. So yeah, I think this is going to be my order. Like I said, oh. This is what happens in the staff room. The lights go off. You have to just do this. And we're back. Link in description for any of my protein goodies. 10% off on top of sale. My code, Vital Physique. Next meal, chicken, green beans, basmati and wild rice. Just trying to show you how glamorous my life really is. More work. So it is five past eight and I'm finally home from a day's work. And this 
this, this the non-glamorous life of Becca Smith. Cadbury's highlights milk chocolate drink. 38 calories. I'm freezing cold. It's about two degrees outside. And this is what I fancy. So I'm gonna have one of these while I just chill out, gather my thoughts, and then I'm gonna shower, put my pajamas on, get ready for to just relax, watch possibly another episode of Westworld. Westworld, I think it's called with John Paul because it's such a good series at the moment. Check it out. It's really weird. It's like the si oh, it's a bit like The Sims. I remember Elle Darby when I spoke to her about it. She was like, "Yeah, it reminds me of The Sims." Like, it's kind of like humans control other humans, but they're not actually humans anymore, they're like robots. I can't really explain it, just go and watch it. I was watching that, I'm also watching Narcos at the moment, which I love. Colombian drug dealers, completely different. Good TV series, if you fancy watching that over the winter periods, because it's bloody freezing. Whilst I sun it up in LA. Whoop, two week countdown, can't bloody wait. It's my little ramble for this evening. Gonna drink my hot chocolate. Get a shower, put my pyjamas on, and relax. Mmm. This actually beats options. But seriously guys, if you are struggling, especially over the winter months when it is so cold and you get in and all you're wanting is a bit of chocolate, but you're trying to watch your waistline. I would honestly recommend these sachets of like Options Hot Chocolate. This one is Cadbury's Highlights. They're like 38 to 40 calories per one. I know the ingredients isn't isn't that good in them. There's a full of like, there's a couple of E numbers. Who cares? So yeah, I have incorporated these into the LBB guide because I know it's cold and I know we're women and we like our chocolate. But when we can't have chocolate, we'll find alternatives. These, focus, are the alternatives. I cannot wait to watch your journeys. So like I said, make sure you are hashtagging on inst Instagram, LBD Bexfit, so I can keep up with your journeys. And like I said, if you guys wanna take part in the LBD transformation challenge, you can, you don't have to, you can just follow the guide anonymously. But if you do, then you simply just upload pictures from the start date to the end date. And like I was discussing with someone today in the gym, I'm not, the transformation for me, the challenge isn't just about how much weight you can lose, how much fat you're trying to lose, anything like that. It's an overall transformation, whether that's you're feeling fitter, healthier, stronger after the eight weeks, whether you managed to try on that little black dress that you've been wanting to wear but didn't feel that comfortable in, or you've been to the shop and had your iron one and you want to maybe get like a dress size down and you fit it. Anything like that, I am open to everything. And like I said, I will be picking the top transformation and then my three runners up. So I'm really excited to see your journeys. So I ordered some leggings from boohoo.com. I've never ordered from them, but these are cute. I like them. I just wanted some gray joggers. They're like high-waisted and I'm thinking I'm gonna wear them for the plane to LA. So I think I'm gonna do a separate video on uh, my like shopping haul for LA. If you guys wanna see that, let me know. Because I've kind of gone a little bit crazy lately and I've literally got like one, two, three, four packages of clothing and accessories and jewelry and makeup. So comment below if you want to see my holiday haul and I will show you. I'm trying to dress for all occasions. There's gonna be beach days, Disneyland days, basketball games, but then there's gonna be like nice dinners out and maybe a night out in the club. So, you know, dressing for all occasions, under 23 kilos. We'll see how that turns out. I'm rambling on. So yeah, let me know, comment below. There is genuinely nothing better than coming home freezing cold and tucking in to this delight. So I've got 70 gram of my protein gluten-free oats, scoop of chocolate brownie white isolate, which is my favorite, raspberries, almonds, and we decided to try this triple nut butter if it focuses. So it is a combination of peanut, cashew, and almond butter. I mean, dream. And it's like the same texture as like peanut butter, almond butter. So I've added 20 grams of that. Again, my code is in the description box. Give it a try, it's delish. This is another onesie. I know it's not the usual blue and white one. It's a different one, because I own two, because I'm that sad.
and it is that cold. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, do whatever you want with it. Just I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Everything.